Boy, if those aren't the clouds you think of whenever you think of the Great Plains. Hello, Mr. Dove. This goes forever, doesn't it? Like that really is the the picturesque cloud cover that you think of. Alrighty, what is up guys? Welcome back to the project. I am here yet again at the hill with another 1911 video. In fact, it's going to be kind of a continuation of the previous 1911 video and the fact that I have another Gerson. 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 1911. I still don't know how to say it yet. Uh, this is the MC 1911C. What's weird about this one is that it's a 4.4 inch barrel and I apologize it's insanely windy out it's always insanely windy out it's something you gotta live with out here I apologize guys it's just gonna be one of those days for wind again this is a 4.4 inch barrel so it's it's very bizarre uh, it's it's not a standardized compact size it's not the 4.2 uh, it's not the 4 inch model it is 4.4 inches of barrel uh, which I, I measured it with all my other 1911s and it doesn't fit any of them. So still very cool. does come with the eight round. I think these either act or Metgar mags, not sure. Uh, again, Picatinny rail, ambi safety, uh, mag release is still only on the driver's side, but that's okay because I'm used to that and I just hit it with my index finger, my middle finger actually, sorry. Uh, so we are going to shoot it today. This one does not have a mount for optics. It is not optics ready. It just has Novak styled sights, which I love. Uh, they are mounted all the way rearward, which is why I got this model. And I'm just going to shoot it a little bit. Uh, the again, the same thing. The, uh, the 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 checkering on the the front strap here seems a little soft and squishy. Doesn't really grab anything. Doesn't do anything for me. Uh, but I am just going to take my first shots with it here on camera. If you guys didn't watch the video on the MC 1911 ST whatever the the five inch model was that I did with the uh, optics ready package you you might want to watch it I don't know that 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 video had a lot of hiccups so I hope this is gonna be a little less kerfuffled if not that's how it goes right like this is why we do it this is how we learn so I'm gonna put my ears back on since I took them off and I'm gonna do some shooting you guys are gonna see the first rounds on camera we're just doing some factory ammo first. I don't really feel like firing anything fancy to start off with. All right, the boat there. And we will just fire right here at about 14 yards. It chambered it. Let's just hope it doesn't uh, go full auto like the other one did. First shot, I broke the big plate. <laughs> Brass hit my thumb. Forgot these hold eight rounds. Fantastic. Wow. Uh, very good trigger. Uh, very nice shooting. Uh, I can get used to that. Very controllable. Uh, because this is not a forged frame, I, I don't believe so. I, I think at the price point, there's no way they could afford to be a forged frame. And because there is all this extra mass here underneath the slide, uh, it is very controllable. It doesn't feel like you get a lot of muzzle rise with either one of these. This isn't like saying this one's better, but uh, I'm going to keep shooting that. That was not bad. I got to go reset my targets though first because uh, the uh, the 12 inch plate is just barely hanging there for dear life. So bear with me. I'll be right back. Alrighty. We know now that it feeds factory ammo through its factory mag. I'm going to swap over to a mil spec mag because again, if you don't watch that first video, we had some problems where it didn't seem like the uh, the full size model there liked the uh, the aftermarket mags, well, mil spec factory mags, but uh, didn't seem to like them. So I'm gonna move on to this magazine, see how she does, and I will film me from the front, cause why the hell not, right? Same thing. 
does seem to be giving me some issues there. Factory mag did not want to keep it locked back. And now we've got a serious jam there. Hmm. Who knows? May not work with factory mags, which would be kind of weird. There you go. Maybe, maybe don't use these mags. Or maybe, if you're me, not only use these mags, now put them in there with semi-wad cutters, because if you don't know, you're going to know now. Seemed to work just fine on that one. <laughs> Into the dirt with you. All right, I got another eight rounder. Let's keep going. I uh, I have to test these out, see if I want to review them. So I figured. Yeah. Why not bring you guys along for some of it? I got one last factory eight rounder here. Slide release again, not ambi. It's got an ambi safety though, and I do like that. So let's uh, let's 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 go. It's a me and my go. Woo! There you go. I like how this shoots. I think I'm gonna load one more magazine. Kind of hot rod it a bit, and that'll probably do it for this gun. But uh, I like this one a lot better. It's leaking all the juices out of it that I have. I, I got smarter too, and I actually uh, disassembled both of these and just scrubbed the shite out of them. But uh, let me reload here. That's not bad. Yeah, this uh, this one's going quite a bit better uh, than the first one. It's had some hiccups. You always do. Well, not always. I got really spoiled here recently with some really good guns, but I mean, I'm not opposed to hiccups. They're not deal breakers. Sometimes some guns do need a break-in period. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to reload here. I'm going to kind of go a little bit faster on this one. I really enjoy this gun. This one seems very tight. Uh, so does the other one. Again, stuff happens, okay? Uh, don't let it be a be-all, end-all whenever you see me shooting it. Uh, I'm just showing you the footage, man. I don't, I don't want to edit anything. I don't want to cut anything out. So what you see is what you get. Uh, you can either like it or you can hate it. I know a lot of people uh, don't like how I do videos uh, because I don't rave about things, and th that's okay. I'm just here to show you the footage as it happens, whether it's good or bad. If I see something I don't like, I say it. Like this, there's still the little casting mark on the back of the magazine here. But that's okay because that is not the fault of EAA Corporation or Gerson. That's ACT or Metgar, whoever makes these. All right, factory ammunition here. Eight round Magadoodle. Let's back up here. I don't mind these safeties. They're relatively positive. Um, not my favorite, but they work. Look at that, I did a brass check after I said I don't need a brass check. I can't really hot rod it yet. I'll get better at it, but uh, not bad. Not bad for a first video for this guy. Sorry about the wind noise, is what it is. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you would like to see more on these two 1911s, leave a comment below, leave a like. I don't care. I'm probably gonna film a little bit more with them and then they may move. I may move on from these guns after this. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm really enjoying this guy right here. Didn't enjoy the other one so much yet, but we might get there. So thank you guys so much for being here. Good luck. God bless. I will see you in the next video. I'm out of here.